Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm working for Metros. Excellent. Metros is manufacturing valve dispensers for more than 45 years. And today we would like to share our experience with you. For this reason, I'm going to show you how to test a safety relief valve with gas or air. For this purpose, we are going to use our safety relief valve test bench SVM 2200. 20 means we have a maximum clamping force of 20 tons and we can use it up to DN200 in valve diameter or 8 inch. All our test benches are equipped with a stainless steel control panel, piping and fitting and stainless steel as well up to 600 bar. Before I start to show you how the safety relief valve test bench works, I would like to explain you the function of the spring-loaded safety relief valve. For this purpose, NASA, one of the biggest safety relief valve manufacturers, was the kind to provide us this cross-section model. Such type of safety relief valves are installed to protect your installation against overpressure. It means if the pressure will become too high, it will push against the spring-loaded seat area open it and then additional pressure can release. If you are interested in more information, please visit the website from Laser. Of course we cannot use this cross-section model for our demonstration on the valve test bench. For this reason we are going to use another complete laser safety relief valve with an inlet of 1 inch and an outlet of 2 inch. Set pressure of this safety relief valve should be 10 bar. So the safety valve can be mounted easily onto our O-ring sealing plate. Means we are going to center it, slide the clamping cloth just over the flange area, and now we tighten with the hand wheel firmly. To operate the SVM 2200, you don't need electric energy or compressed air. You only need an external high pressure source like nitrogen or air bottle. Before you start testing, you should be aware about what is the expected set pressure of the safety relief valve. This one here with one inch inlet should open at 10 bar test pressure. Please ensure that you have mounted the correct measuring range of the gauge. Here we are using a gauge from 0 to 60 bar and we expect a set pressure of 10 bar, so we are absolutely in range. If not, you can change easily the gauge via our quick connector mounted here on the test rack. The test pressure table on the test bin shows you at which diameter you are allowed to test with which pressure. You must understand as bigger the valve diameter is, as lower the test pressure should be, because the limit of the test bench is 20 tons clamping force. Now we can open the nitrogen bottle. And on the small gauge in the front panel, you still can see how much pressure remains in this bottle. So actually here we are around 100 bar, so there's still enough pressure to test the safety relief valve with 10 bar. With the inlet needle valve on the front panel, we can control now the pressure going to our safety relief valve. Another connection coming back is showing this pressure on our gauge on the top. If I open this needle valve now, we can control very smoothly the increase of the test pressure. Now we are going to reach about 10 bar. You can see it's already opening at 9 bar, so it's not properly adjusted. So set pressure means at which pressure we will achieve to open the valve and to release the pressure in my installation. 
In case the set pressure of your safety and relief valve is not adjusted properly, you can remove the top protection cap from the valve. This will allow you to adjust now here on the spindle with a spanner the load onto the spring. Means if the set pressure was too low, you're going to increase the load, then it will be harder for the pressure to push against the spring. And if the set pressure was too high, you can loosen the spindle to remove the load on the spring, so the valve will open earlier. So after the set pressure test, we are going to do also the so-called seat leakage test. We can increase now the test pressure up to 90% of the set pressure. In our case, 9 bar. After that, I will close the outlet of the safety relief valve with such a rubber plug, which is connected to our bubble counter. It means if there's still a leakage, the nitrogen or air will go through this plastic hose, push now air bubbles underneath the water level and you can see and count the bubbles per minute and detect the leakage. Depending on which area you are, it might be that there are different norms applying for the seat leakage test. That means the pipe diameter in, in the water level can be different. So the pipe we are using here right now is according to a DEAN 3230. But there are also other pipes available for the API 527 and as well for the European norm EN 6534. All three pipes are always included in the scope of supply from Metro's valve test benches. The data sheet of the safety relief valve should show you also which norm is going to be used and how many bubbles per minute are allowed. When you have terminated the seat leakage test, please release via the outlet needle valve the remaining test pressure. Remove the rubber plug from the outlet. Open the clamping table with the hand wheel. Remove the clamping cloth via the slide. And now you can remove the safety valve from the table. There is also the possibility to test on our valve test benches safety relief valves with threaded ends. The only thing you need is a so-called threaded adapter. Place it onto our O-ring sealant plate. Put the safety relief valve and tighten it firmly. And now you can use also the clamping cloth to tighten the adapter onto our O-ring sealant plate. These threaded adapters are available as female or male thread and you can get it in DSP or MPT version. I hope this video was interesting for you. Please understand, this is not a training video. I simply wanted to demonstrate how you can test safety relief valves with nitrogen or air on our SVM2200. Please respect at any time the safety regulation in your surrounding and your area. If you are interested in more Metro's tutorial videos, please visit our website or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, over and out. Excellent.